In Loudoun County tonight, a man is on the run accused of assaulting a woman on a running trail. A woman says that she was knocked to the ground and assaulted about 7 a.m. this morning on the Washington and Old Dominion Trail near Sterling. Ross Plater is live in Sterling tonight. Ross, did this woman get a good look at the person who assaulted her? You know, it all happened so fast. She did the best she could to describe him to investigators, and that's one of the reasons they're putting the information out there. They want to warn you about what happened on the trail, but they're also hoping somebody out there saw something that might help in this investigation. They don't have a lot to go on. A Loudoun County Sheriff's deputy on foot patrol along the Washington and Old Dominion Trail after a woman was attacked here just after 7 Monday morning. Really? That's that's kind of scary, actually. I mean, I try to run when it's daylight, but honestly, I'm really shocked. I this seemed really, uh, like a really safe area to me. Investigators say the woman was jogging when a man came up behind her, knocked her to the ground and assaulted her. Then he took off running, heading east towards Fairfax. My sister, she goes with friends and she bikes all the way to D.C. from our houses right around here. So that's really scary to think about. It's unclear if the attacker had been following her or entered the trail from one of the multiple footpaths leading from the woods. This stretch of trail near Oak Grove Road is a popular site for runners and cyclists. It also sits right off a cluster of homes and the attack has left neighbors here on edge too. I'm, I'm really surprised, actually. This is a very safe area, but we have to be very careful. John Schaefer says his wife runs the trail every morning, but they may have to rethink that plan. Obviously, this makes anybody, anybody would um, have a second thought now, but it hasn't been a problem in the past, so we'll have to talk about it. Now, the best description police have is rather vague. The attacker is believed to be an Hispanic man, about 5'6", a muscular build, 200 pounds, last seen wearing dark clothing. Anybody who has any information is asked to call the Loudoun County Sheriff. We are live in Sterling and Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. All right, Ross, thank you.